Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are throwing it back a little bit and doing a Sephora favorites rundown. Uh, if you have been with me on my YouTube journey, you know that I have always loved reviewing these and I saw that this year they are really, really good. And I thought, why not actually kind of rip into one of the kits, go through exactly what you get, the value, try on a few shades and just chat about them. Because every year around holiday, Sephora always comes out with all of these massive kits and some of them are dedicated to lip, hair, skin. My favorites have always been, of course, like the makeup one where usually you get a beauty blender, something for the eyebrows, some, you know, fun face stuff. And then they have a pretty giant lip one this year as well. So we're gonna be focusing in on this one, the Give Me Some Lip and just going through it all. But I decided it would be too crazy long of a video to really dive into this kit. So I'm gonna save this for a giveaway. I sound like a salesperson right now. I'm not being paid to say any of this. This is not sponsored. I just love these kits for the value and thought it would be something kind of throwback to really like go through one of them. Let's talk about this. Oh, Sephora. Um, I still get excited about this kind of stuff, you guys. This never gets old to me. I don't know what my addiction is with makeup, but I just, I just can't quit it. So yes, when I see something like this, my heart still kind of goes, oh, give me all the lip stuff that I wanna play with right now. I already played around with Huda Beauty in Bombshell. This is a liquid lipstick. It dries down matte. It is transfer resistant. This one comes in, I believe, over 20 shades, but this is a very, very pretty color. I am wearing it right now. And as I am filming, it is, wait, let me clear my, my messages. Hold on. Ah! Oh my God, my phone's out of control. Stop, babe, stop. I don't wanna hear about North Korea anymore. It is stressing me out. Oh my gosh, it's a Grand Teton, I can tell already. It is 4.29 right now. I have had this on all day long. I have not touched up. I wanted to show you guys just really how well this product wears. I had a very oily soup for lunch. I had like a broccoli and leek soup with coconut oil. And the fact that this is still on I think is very impressive and it's not terribly drying. I mean, it is a matte lip, so I'm kind of craving a little bit of lip gloss at the moment, but for all day wear, I think this is really fantastic. You get an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in vintage, and I actually think this will layer on top of this liquid lip really nicely. So let's just play. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay. I really like this. So this again is a full size one. It's in the shade vintage. You know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna swatch the, the arms. I have been loving doing that because for some reason, when I look in the monitor, it just helps me to see like, oh yeah, the colors, like and not have to look at my hands. Anyway, I like doing that. Let's swatch the bombshell from Huda as well. So you can see the color difference. Both really pretty, one's a gloss, one's a matte, moving on. You do get a full-size lipstick from Bobbi Brown. The formula in this is so cushiony and gorgeous. This retails for 35 bucks alone. I think it's very flattering. You know, we're approaching holiday, we're approaching a time where you can have, in my opinion, a little more of a glam kind of twist on your look, even if you are a very natural, casual kind of a girl, you know, playing up your lips with a bolder color and kind of being a little more minimal on the eyes can be a nice thing. Look at that, that's just like one swipe. Do you see how opaque and intense that is? This has a satin finish. It promotes natural collagen in your lips. Very cushiony, it feels great. This comes in a ton of shades, um, but you know, you're getting this one in the kit. It's pretty. From Tarte, you get a Rainforest of the Sea little lippy here. These retail for 19 bucks. This is another full size item. Now this is not gonna look like much on my arm, but I, 
love these. I love them. I don't know why I never talk about them enough. Um, this is in the shade Nude. The package is super, super cute. They do have other shades that are kind of more berry toned, more neutral toned, some kind of brighter shades, but they all are very sheared out. So it's that very natural, balmy kind of stain. And if you are not feeling fussy, but you want something to make yourself feel really pretty, this is just like the easiest and then you just feel like, ah, oh, a little bit of makeup just made my day a tiny bit better. This is from Wander Beauty. I haven't tried too much from this range, to be honest. These... <laughs> This is the dual lipstick in Nikki Beach. This retails for $30. It's said to have a matte finish. This looks like it's not, well, actually that's surprising. That is matte. It doesn't look like it's matte in the tube. This bright shade scares me for some reason, but I'm sure there is someone out there that will like love it. Why does this shade always scare me? Like I will watch videos sometimes where I try a shade like this and I'm like, hmm, looks pretty good. But whenever I'm like scrolling through my makeup, I'm like, stay away from that because you will look crazy. This right here is a gorgeous color from Laura Mercier. This is the shade Sensual. That is a very sensual color. This looks like very bombshelly, smoky eye, nude kind of pinky lip. I really like this color. <gasps> That's really pretty. I actually want to try it on right now. That is a baby version of the Velour Lover Matte Lip. Uh, the full size, is full, the full size is 28. <laughs> this tastes so bad. All right, we're gonna go in with Sensual and see. I think I'm gonna love this. Hell yes, I love that. This is like my color. Like this is the kind of color that I buy over and over and over. What is that song? Sensual Seduction? Why is that in my head right now? Sensual Seduction. Sensual Seduction. You also get a cute little Marc Jacobs mini. This is like itty bitty. Like that's just such a little baby. I think it's so cute. This is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And the full size of the Marc Jacobs lips are 30 bucks. You also get a little baby YSL. How adorable is she? She's just petite and cute and red. This is the shade one. You guys know I've been loving YSL lately. Ooh, look at that. Do I even need to like mention the price? YSL we all know is like crazy expensive. $37 for the full size. We have a very vibrant one from Urban Decay. This is Bang Bang and this is very sparkly. So this is kind of like a fun, almost you could kind of mix this in as a little topper. If you're someone that doesn't wear a shade like this often, which I don't wear a shade like this often, it might be fun to have a little baby one to kind of play with. And it's not something that you would spend full price on like the big tube, you know what I'm saying? That is really pretty. Like it's very, very pretty and glittery. And it's actually not as loud as you might think it would be. Big Bang from Urban Decay. I, I don't know why I like miniaturized things. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. End scene. No, but seriously, you guys, I don't know what my deal is with miniature things. Have any of you seen Tiny Kitchen? I see this on Twitter all the time, and sometimes I will retweet things, but it is the craziest thing to get sucked into because it's this little kitchen, and they make like tiny waffles and a tiny banana split and tiny fried chicken. And I don't know why I cannot stop watching these. I like zone out and I'm like, um, and that's kind of how I feel about miniature makeup too. I'm just like, oh, it's so cute. We have another little baby right here. This is the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer. I actually am gonna pop this into a purse because this is one of the best lip maximizers that does not make you tingle or feel weird. It really hydrates. It's super shiny, great formula. I love this. Love, 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 love. The full size one is 33 bucks. All right, we also get from Smashbox. This is an always on liquid lipstick in driver's seat. 
Smashbox, no joke, makes one of the best liquid lipsticks out there. Their new metallics that are gonna be launching, I believe in January, are so incredible. I definitely wanna do a video on those. They are top notch, A plus, totally Tati approved. They do have some other really cool launches as far as shadows coming out too. So I'm definitely gonna be talking about some cool new Smashbox stuff, but it's great that they have a very generous size mini and it's in a very wearable, universally flattering color. This is the shade Driver's Seat, and you still get the regular nice diamond doe foot applicator. Zoop. Look at that. I mean, come on. Just one little swipe. It's just so rich. There's no skipping. There's no balding. There's no just weirdness in the application. It's just it's so nice. These Smashbox Always On Lips are 24 bucks. So we then have a mini itty bitty baby Sephora. What are you? Do you even have room to have a name on you? Cream Lip Stain. Let's swatch this. Oh my gosh, this is like the tiniest little sample. I love it. I don't know how I feel about creamy liquid lips. Like I kind of feel like they budge all over the place. That's nice though. The full size of the Sephora one is 14 bucks. So, you know, compared to the rest, it's not really like, Wow, ooh, but it's still, you know, cute, it's pretty. Um, you do get this Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil. I haven't had the best luck with these. I tried one a while back in like a more purple shade and I just felt like to get that metallic look, it was just kind of too much work, but I'm gonna show you, you do get this in here as well. See how kind of like slippery and almost like, it's just like, it's just a weird formula. The metallic portion of this is really, really pretty, and I think you put the topper on top, but that kind of just ruins it all, so don't do that. Um, just use this one side, and then maybe you'll be good. But you do get this double-ended little guy to play with as well. I think all in all, you're probably not gonna love every color, every formula, but as far as the value in here for getting five full-size items, and the whole kit is 68 bucks, it's a $254 value, I think it's great. So I love these. I always recommend around the holidays too. These kits are great to break apart, build a stocking, build a gift basket. And this is new and I just was drawn to it like a moth to a flame and I wanted to cover it for you guys. So we did that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of more like old school style, hot or not. And uh, yeah, there you have it. I love you guys. I hope you're having a good one and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. And I totally forgot to include this cute little hourglass lippy that is nude and pink and I had to show you guys a swatch because I wanted you to see the full deal with this kit. So there you have it. That is the complete collection that you get. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm officially out of here and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.